Hey everyone, Rowan here. The other day I got one of those alerts on my phone. This is many years ago today type thing. And it was a video I had taken at a concert. I believe it was corn, but it may have been slipped out, I don't remember exactly. And this little video got me thinking about other concert stories. Because I'm a certified needle person, I didn't start going to concerts until I was 18. My first show being Of Mice and Men, He Who Shall Not Be Named Because We Now Know That He's a Bad Person, and Slipknot. And for first show, it was quite the trip. It was an outdoor venue in the middle of the summer in Arizona. And Arizona summer is not fun. It starts raining near the end of, of Mice and Men's set, and my friend yells from the back of the venue, HARD PAIN! And you know, I don't think they heard him, but they said, WE'RE PLAYING PAIN! The look on my friend's face there was just absolutely priceless. Now, as I said, it started to rain, and it quickly got worse after the song ended. Someone from the venue comes on stage and announced that they were going to pause the show and potentially postpone it due to the weather. Now, dear viewer, I want you to imagine a small army of metalheads yelling, FUCK THAT SHIT! FUCK THAT SHIT! Eventually, the rain stops, and the show goes on. Only other thing to note that happened was the fire that broke out not too far from where me and my friends were standing and seeing security rush over to it. Now, quick side note here. I'm of the personal belief that a fire at an outdoor venue makes every concert that much more memorable. But my lawyers told me to condemn the act of lighting fires in public spaces, so yeah, don't. Back to the stories. In 2018, I was fortunate enough to be able to see Slayer on their last world tour. Same outdoor venue, fire started eventually, it was magical. First time I got to see Camel Corpse and let me tell you something. Hearing Corpse Grinder utter the magical phrase, live, that is an experience that still gives me goosebumps. It was also when Amon Martha just released Berserker and, in my opinion, were still really good. This next one comes from the most recent concert I attended and it's not that much of a unique story, but I simply have to show this photo. All hail the giant ducky! Last one for this video. Not really that grand compared to the others, but I'm always a sucker for small venue shows. And this is one of the smallest venues I've been to so far. I went to see Lich King and Ex Mortis for the first time. We were in the basement of a small theater. I got to meet Conan of Ex Mortis and Joe Nickerson of Lich King. Super chill dudes, honestly. I, I put a smiley face in the script, I'm not entirely sure why. <laughs> now, if you're unfamiliar with Lich King, they have a song called Combat Mosh. And I've joked with friends in the past that not moshing to that song is illegal, but I had to make an exception this time. Diagram time! So as you can see from my 100% accurate diagram right here, we got the stage right here. We have we have the merch, we have the merch tables back here. We got the bar right here, and then we have the staircase leading down into the place right here. And right about here is where the mosh pit was. Now that would be great because that's you know very prime mosh pit area, you know close to the stage, but not so close that you're running into everyone that's just trying to have fun there. It's just trying to, you know, be up near the front. You're not running into the merch tables, you're not blocking an entrance, you're not blocking the bar so people can still get beer. But there is one big problem with this area in this venue. And that is right here and right here. We have two major support poles for the building. And you know, you know in a mosh pit you're kind of running around, you're pushing people over, you're pushing yourself into things. So imagine just imagine, you know, you go right into one of these, or right into this, you're not having a good time. So yeah, the cautious part of my brain won out that time. Concerts? Concerts are a magical thing to attend. And while I pretty much exclusively go to metal shows, I can imagine that there's a lot of fantastic parts about non-metal shows as well. Except country shows. I'd love to hear some of your guys' concert stories in the comments, and as always, I've been Rowan. Hope you have a fantastic day, and stay hydrated.